Hey YouTubers, Chris Willett here from Notes from a Vagabond. Today I'm going to show you this saw I made. I call it like a camping saw or a backpacking saw. It's very lightweight, survival saw, whatever. Uh, these guys always want to go camping, then they want to fire. They drag a bunch of limbs in, they want me to uh, cut them up. So I made this, <coughs> uh, and I'll tell you how I made it and what I like about it. So when it's fully assembled, it's a little over two feet long. So that gives me a good grip on the handle here. Uh, this blade is a sawzall blade. I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, it's almost 12 inches. Uh, to take it apart, to take it apart, I just have you know two screws that go through here with some wing nuts. Just uh, take them apart, and then this blade will go in that end, and uh, so you can travel with it. So when it's folded up, it's about 14 inches long and only weighs five ounces. That's a lightweight saw. Over how I made this, um, this is a real simple project. Uh, you know, I had some aluminum tubing around because this blade, this is one inch, the blade wouldn't fit in. I put it in like this jaw horse and made it more oval. Uh, so I had a piece about 14 inches. The other thing I did is I drilled another hole. It's pretty easy to drill these saws all blades. But the key to this saw is this blade. This is a, a Diablo 12 inch pruning. But the big thing is it's carbide tip. Because it's carbide tip, it'll cut smoothly and it'll last a real long time. Uh, you know, I've seen these saws like this for sale, somebody selling them for 70, 80 bucks. You can make one yourself real cheap, you know. Piece of aluminum, two screws with some wing nuts. You don't have to use aluminum. You could use copper, you could use conduit. Uh, and then after you get these holes, you just line, lay it up there, make your marks, drill your holes. Uh, I, I um, wrapped mine with Gorilla duct tape. Uh, the reason why is because sometimes aluminum will wear on your hands and turn them kind of dark gray or something. Uh, the other reason is, the reason I use Gorilla Tape is because if I need to do a quick repair, tear my coat or a hole in a tent, I know where some duct tape is. It's wrapped around here. So, um, and you know, you could use you know, two blades if you want. If you wanted a pruning one and then another carbide tip one or a metal blade, whatever. You know, it'd be easy. You know, you can make a lot of different ones. The other thing is this is a 12 inch blade. And I believe if you wanted a smaller saw, uh, they got a nine inch blade, I believe, or maybe it's a six inch. Um, but because of a, this is a 12 inch blade, I'm able to, you know, cut some pretty good size uh, wood and it cuts fast. It'll cut hardwood. It'll cut softwood. Um, it's just a it's a nice little saw to have, especially at five ounces. Anyway, um, I just want to do a close up here so you can kind of see this handle. Uh, so you know, it's just a one inch piece of aluminum, and then at the end, uh, I really I had to squish it down um, so that when the blade's in there, it's real nice and snug, and then you know, two nuts through it. Anyway, um, if you like this movie, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Let's go camping. Oh yeah. Let's have a big fire. Okay. Now have a good day. Bye.